All right, hey, what's up guys? It's Sean, your Charleston Realtor, coming at you with another Charleston Suburb Deep Dive. Today, we're gonna look at the city of Hanahan and everything it offers to the Charleston area. I wanna touch on some of the major areas of the city and talk about some of the features and then dive into some nitty gritty real estate information. First, if you think this video provides value to you, it would mean a ton if you could like and subscribe. So while Hanahan is a relatively new city, only be formally being incorporated in 1973, Homes in the area actually go back way further. It's located in Berkeley County, just north of North Charleston and to the south of Goose Creek. Even though it's home to about 20,000 people, in my opinion, it's the most forgotten city in the Charleston area because unless you're going to Hanahan specifically, you will drive right by it, no matter where you're going. It's quiet and isolated and has that small town feel and people love it for that reason. But Hanahan is such an ideal location. It's just minutes away from Park Circle, Rivers Avenue, and the Naval Weapons Station, and other parts of the Charleston area. It's closer to the Charleston Peninsula than the cities of Somerville or Goose Creek. Overall, it's just a good commuter city. The location can't be beat for the current real estate prices. And even though it's called the Goose Creek Reservoir, this body of water is pretty much just in Hanahan. Just like the rest of Berkeley County, Hanahan is a sportsman's paradise with plenty of water for boating and for fishing. So I like to divide Hanahan into three parts, South Hanahan, North Hanahan, and West Hanahan. Each of these areas is distinctly different and comes with its own advantages and disadvantages. So let's start with South Hanahan. The defining roads here are Ewens Hall Road and Murray Drive. This area is categorized by older homes from the 40s, 50s, 60s, and even the 70s. There are some new construction homes here, just not many. This area is great for commuting to areas like North Charleston and Mount Pleasant because of proximity to I-526. It's also just minutes away from Park Circle in North Charleston, where there's plenty of restaurants, bars, and activities. This part of Hanahan contains one of two commercial areas in the city, where there's a few restaurants, groceries, and shopping. This is also where you'll find City Hall and Hanahan High School and Hanahan Middle School. Of the three parts of Hanahan, homes in the southern part tend to be the cheapest because they're older and smaller than other parts of the city. There's also apartments galore in this area of Hanahan, and rents in those apartments tend to be less expensive compared to other parts of the city, but they're still priced higher than similar apartments in North Charles. And that brings up an issue that Hanahan has been going through lately. Many residents are actively fighting against the city's plans to rezone some of the land from single family homes to high density multifamily, and that's specifically in North Hanahan. They argue that building more apartments will negatively impact quality of life, the neighborhoods, and the home values. I can sort of see this. There are already tons of apartments in Hanahan, with many of these apartments sandwiched in between single family homes. Now the multitude of apartment buildings is not unique to Hanahan, but the placement of some of these older ones is pretty interesting and it's abnormal. Overall, I think South Hanahan is a great area, so much to the point where I own a rental property there myself. Its location can hardly be beat for the price point. It's the cheapest area, but it's still zoned for Berkeley County Schools, and there's not much room for new development, so that's gonna put a strain on the existing supply of homes, and we might see accelerated price growth in the years to come. Next, let's talk about Northern Hanahan. This area is defined by the Tanner Plantation subdivision, but there are some other neighborhoods outside of Tanner Plantation. This area has really exploded in the past couple of years. It boasts newer homes that have primarily been built over the past decade and a half. This part of Hanahan is just off of North Red Avenue, which is pretty convenient if you're trying to get to 526 or if you're commuting to the Naval Weapons Station. This area contains the other commercial center in Hanahan, but with restaurants and stores that have a higher price point than Southern Hanahan. Tanner Ford Boulevard turns into Foster Creek Road, and on each side of the road are some sprawling, newer neighborhoods. Many people who move to the Charleston Metro and are looking for a newer home but don't want to be so far north as Goose Creek or Somerville tend to gravitate towards this part of Hanahan. The neighborhoods all have sidewalks and there's tons of parks and open areas, which makes this area different from the southern or the western areas of the city. Lastly, let's talk about the western part of Hanahan. And by the western part of Hanahan, I actually mean this area, on the other side of the reservoir. This area could be synonymous to the Upper Peninsula in Michigan. It's not actually attached to the rest of Hanahan in any useful fashion. In order to get to it, you'll need to cross into either North Charleston or Goose Creek. This part of Hanahan features older homes, many the same age as Southern Hanahan. The difference though is the size. These homes could be anywhere from 2,500 to 3,500 square feet. When these homes were built decades ago, they were probably some of the biggest homes in the area. This was the higher end neighborhood way back in the day, and it kind of still is that. 
You'll find that homes here are pretty pricey, especially compared to similarly aged homes in Southern Hanahan, or the homes in the Otranto neighborhood that is literally right across Rivers Avenue in North Charleston. Which brings up a point I have to talk about. With Western Hanahan, you're right next to Rivers Avenue. This could be a blessing and also a curse. If you're commuting to Somerville or the Peninsula, then this is perfect. But you're going to have to deal with Rivers Avenue traffic during rush hour. There's also a train track between Rivers Avenue and this part of Hanahan, and there's not much of an offset between the tracks and the rest of the neighborhood. This isn't a deal breaker for many people, but if you're looking for an area without trains, you're best off going with Northern Hanahan. Otherwise, it's a pretty quiet area and the old school homes attract many people to this part of the city. Now the next couple of topics is me reporting on completely public information and should not be construed as my opinion of any sort. So let's talk about the public schools. Hanahan resides within Berkeley County School District and is home to two elementary, one middle, and one high school. Of course, zoning for individual schools may vary from neighborhood to neighborhood, so it's best to verify these prior to purchasing a home here. Bowens Corner Elementary isn't ranked on GreatSchools.com, but from this graphic you can see that academic achievement at this school is higher than the state average. The same is true for Hanahan Elementary School, where the academic achievement outpaces the state average, though maybe not to the same extent as Bowens Corner. Hanahan Middle School is unranked as well, but is considered a high-performing school by nature of their Algebra 1 participation and pass rate compared to the state average. Now, Hanahan High School is ranked and is considered an average to above average school by GreatSchools.com. Now, as far as crime goes, Hanahan has less property crime than the state or the national average. Violent crime follows the same trend, with there being significantly less than the state or national average, all according to bestplaces.net. This map from crimegray.org breaks down crime by neighborhood, which is pretty neat. The green area shows areas where there's less crime, with yellow in the middle, and orange or red indicating areas of higher crime. So let's quickly go over some real estate information and price points. The median sales price in Hanahan for single-family detached homes is $490,000, with the average sales price of $520,000. Townhomes, on the other hand, have a median sales price of $262,000 and an average sales price of $300,000. Keep in mind that the higher price point for Hanahan is because the North and Western Hanahan skews the numbers upwards, whereas South Hanahan actually brings the averages down. This graph from rates.com shows that single family detached homes are around $228 per square foot as of May of 2023. This graph actually goes back three years, so you can clearly see that post pandemic run that was fueled by low interest rates, followed by a cooling off period in the fall and the winter of 2021, which was then followed by another run in that first half of 22 right as rates began to rise and people had that FOMO. Elevated interest rates really cool off price growth in the second half of 2022 and going into 2023. But as elevated interest rates have become the new norm and home buyers have adjusted, we can see that prices have actually begun to rise again. Townhomes follow a similar trend to single family detached, but they're sitting at $272 per square foot. This means that even though townhomes are generally cheaper than single family detached, you're gonna get less bang for your buck when you factor in the size of the house. Now, for real estate investors, I think Hanahan is an amazing opportunity. The price to rent ratio is still relatively high, especially in southern Hanahan, meaning that it might be easier to cash flow in this area compared to other parts of Charleston. A lot of money is pouring into this area and is quickly revitalizing. The proximity of highways, restaurants, and schools attracts potential tenants and short-term guests to this city. Overall, Hanahan is a wonderful city off the beaten path of Charleston. If you think I left something out, be sure you say so in the description below, and I'll see you in my next Charleston Suburb deep dive.